there's got to be courage in there somewhere. Having yeah, we, courage we, to we take had, action. Like, yeah, we had a good discussion on that yesterday. Lori Siaccio, who is a polka dot manager and one of my clients, she's the one that um, that brought that up because we were talking about, you know, Becca and I have the same stack of books, right? These are all right here on my desk and I'm in a book club for every one of them. Yeah. And yesterday I joined another one and it's like, okay, how much information am I going to take in because it's in my comfort zone mm -hmm. to do that and not step out of my comfort zone and do or take action on the strategies and tools that are in these books, you know? Yeah. So yeah. we talked about, that. and that has to do with integrity as well. I mean, you know, it really does. So courage to, um, to take action, which is out of your comfort zone in some cases, and yeah. then be in alignment with your values as you take that action. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. That's a thing. Yeah. Really good. Yeah. Good and so, so the month of March, our focus is choose abundance and how we're choosing the things in our life that align with our values really goes with the conversation, right? Like when we are in alignment and we have that um, energy of knowing what we want, being in integrity with um, how we take action or we stay away from the things that are out of our, out of that um, alignment with our values and how we want to live. Um, you know, that's, we get to choose how we how we step forward or you know discern what's right for us and what it's time for yeah i was listening to a, a podcast that denise o'malley uh, gave me a free ticket to I, it was a three-day thing so i listened to very little of it but i went in when i could and it was all about um publishing a book you know and and there's many many ways to do that but um these particular speakers were saying that and you you might be able to put some insight on this, uh, Suze, was um, at today's business, it's really the most important thing you can do is to have a book. If you're a speaker, you know, you want to be a speaker to have a book. And he was saying that's even more important than a website. So what do you think about that? I absolutely. I think that having a book and a landing page. So like a landing page where people can go and they can actually, they can see who you are and they can know you, but having a book to be able to say like, and thinking of your book as an exaggerated business card. Okay. Mm -hmm. So my, the publisher that I went through, cause we were talking, I'm thinking, I'm going to make so much money with this and everybody's going to want my story and I'm going to like get on all the TV shows and all this stuff. Okay. So that's what I was thinking. And my publisher was like, okay. You can go that route, but it takes about $150,000 of investment to be able to do that. Yeah. Like, would you like to go that route? Because we can. And I was like, yeah, no. And then he said, <laughs> or you can think of it as a glorified business card where you are, and, and it amps you up, you know, on the speaking stage to say, I'm an author and then I'm a best selling author. Like, right. there's two different levels on that. So there's author. Amazon bestselling author and New York Times bestselling author. The New York Times bestselling author, each of those people put at least $150,000 into it. Yeah, yeah. So the author, that's an awesome title. Bestselling author is something that people notice more too. Yeah. So being able yeah. to decide before you write your book where you want it to go. Yeah, and it <laughs> seems like those compilation books that you know so many people, coaches and people, do the compilation books, they all end up saying they're best selling. So they must, I don't know how they get there. I mean, the one that Kelly did, it, you know, it came out to be a best selling um, yeah. thing too. So a, I don't know. Yeah, there's a strategy behind that. And there's a lot of like a lot of work that goes into that. But it's, it's really people um, ordering it off of Amazon through Kindle yeah. and they yeah. get it for free. So yeah. you have a time frame. There's a strategy. Yeah, um, I, well, I kind of figured yeah. that. Yeah, I think if well, if a book aligns with with you and with integrity yeah. and all of that, definitely. Yeah. 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 But I mean, it, you also have to pay those people a good sizable chunk of money, you know, those compilation, uh, the people who do it, which is the work, you know, they're doing the work in terms of getting it out there. 
but uh, I don't know. Anyway, that's not what we were talking about. So sorry, I got off on that topic. When you were talking about, you know, um, the importance of your website, you know, that you guys worked on, that just clicked in my mind what that guy said when I was listening to that podcast. I do agree as a speaker, having a book, um, deciding what you want the book to be an author, bestselling, or, you know, New York times, whatever, deciding that first before you write it. And then having a landing page that people can order and they can know. So a landing page is definitely important. Um, I would say more important than a web than a full blown website. Yeah. 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 Okay. Got a little free business advice there. 